Three News legal analyst Stephanie Haney is with us now, and, and thank you for breaking down what we are all watching this hour. Absolutely, Christy, and you know what? I'm not doing it myself today. I'm bringing in an expert to help us in on this as well. I've got him here with Jonathan Adler today. He's the professor of constitutional law at Case Western Reserve University. And Professor Adler, Adler as we look at this case, this is a 49-page indictment, a lot of information in there. What's the most notable thing to you in that case? Uh, the most notable thing is the amount of information that came from people working with former President Trump, including one of his former attorneys. You don't usually see that degree of detail, the pictures. Uh, the video, in, in one case, transcripts of a recorded conversation that really lay out a lot more than just maintaining classified documents, but false statements to the FBI, efforts to conceal documents, hide documents, uh, and things that reflect obstruction of justice and not simply uh, improperly holding classified documents. Mm -hmm. And in this rare scenario where we're seeing miscommunications between him and his legal counsel, how is that going to impact his legal team moving forward in this case? Well, it's really quite unusual, as you know, because typically when you have a, an attorney, you, that your conversations are covered by attorney-client privilege, and so anything you say to the attorney is protected. An exception for that is if you try and get your attorney to facilitate a future crime. They can defend you for the crimes you did in the past. They can't help you commit future crimes. Uh, a judge concluded that the crime fraud exemption allowed for a breach of attorney-client privilege here, and so that's one of the reasons Trump has had to change attorneys. Um, he's now down to, to one attorney in this case, apparently going to be adding additional counsel um, because he's had a hard time keeping attorneys, uh, and as we know, some of those conversations have been included in the indictment. Sure. Now, I want to ask you one more question before we go here. A lot of people have had questions about the fact that current President Biden is being investigated over classified documents. We know that former Vice President Mike Pence won't be charged. So in your view, how is this different than those cases? Well, the standard the Justice Department has been applying for the last few years really focuses on the willfulness and the effort to conceal or to maintain documents when it's been discovered that you have classified documents. That's why former Vice President Pence has not been charged. In this case, the Justice Department is alleging that former President Trump actively intended to keep these documents, lied about keeping these documents, moved boxes around to hide the documents from the federal government. And so that degree of willfulness and obstruction of justice is what makes the difference. Okay, thank you very much for your time today, Professor Adler. Of course, we'll be continuing to follow this as this historic moment moves forward. So we'll send it back to the, two, to the three of you. All right, good to know. Stephanie, great conversation. Thank you so much.